Hi and welcome to another Microsoft Excel tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a multiplication table. Um, it will incorporate just one formula, well one formula that you have to make and we'll get Excel to do most of the work for us. Okay, hope you'll uh, enjoy this one, find it very useful. Now first thing I'm going to do here is click into cell B1 and then I'm going to type in the number one and what I want to do is create a, a 10 times multiplication table so on numbers 1 to 10 on row 1 and numbers 1 to 10 in column A so what I need to do here now I've typed that number 1 I haven't pressed enter by the way I've just typed the number 1 and I put my mouse pointer over the bottom right of the cell so I get the black cross and now if I just hold down the control key keep that control key held down and drag across and as you do that you'll see that Excel will pop in the numbers for us up to number 10. Once you reach number 10 release the mouse button, release the control key and there we have our block of numbers. Now don't deselect just yet because we still need this block of numbers or this row of numbers and what I'm going to do now is simply copy that row because it's already highlighted for me. So click the copy button. That puts the marquee box around that selection and then I move to cell A2. Right click on cell A2 and that brings up the right click shortcut menu and then choose paste special. Okay the paste special dialog box appears and down at the bottom right you have an option that says transpose and you tick the transpose box, click OK and there we are, it puts that same set of numbers 1 to 10 down in column A from uh, A2 down to A11 in this case. I can now deselect my row 1 selection by simply pressing the escape key and there we have the numbers for the multiplication table. OK, that's step 1. The next stage is to create the calculation that I need and so to do that I'm going to click into B2 press equals on the keyboard remember pressing equals tells Excel that whatever follows will be part of a calculation and then click on to the first cell reference that I need which is cell B, B1 okay and I'm going to make a modification to the cell reference and I'm going to use uh, an absolute reference but I only want the formula to lock onto row 1 in this case and what I do here is press the F4 key and if I press it once you'll see what happens it puts a dollar sign around the B or between the equal sign of the B and also between the B and the 1 what that does it locks that cell reference to B1 I don't want that to happen I just want it locked onto row 1 for, the for this first part of the formula so if I press the F4 key one more time you'll see there it changes to equals B dollar one and the dollar sign indicates that whatever follows is locked so if I copy that formula around the uh, row one will be locked in that formula or that part of the formula okay so this, the second part of my formula is to uh, complete the multiplication so I press the star sign on the keyboard or the multiply key and then click on to cell A2 now here I want to do the opposite of what I did on the first cell reference which is to make it dollar $A2 now to do that press F4 once put the dollar signs around the letter and the number again just the number one more time just the letter so pressing F4 three times I end up with dollar $A2 which is perfect so now the column is locked on the second part of that formula and that's the hard part over with that's the only calculation or the only formula you will need to create for this uh, little example so what I'm going to do here is click on the little tick there and we're done um, and Excel is telling me that 1 times 1 is 1 which I'm not going to argue with looks okay to me now the next part is obviously to populate the rest of this table and to do that what we do is we make sure we have B2 highlighted the first formula click copy and now here's a trick what you need to do here is select all those cells in the table um, but starting in the same cell where you've copied that formula so I'm going to start in B2 click and drag down you can go anywhere you want really but we're dragging down to 
cell K11. Okay, um, you'll see. But as long as you've got the um, the columns highlighted to to column K and the rows highlighted to row 11, you're okay there. And you can see they're all highlighted. And I can release the mouse button, and that's my selection made. And then all I need to do now is press the Enter key. Okay, and there we are. As if by magic, Excel fills in all the other calculations for me. Now I'm going to deselect that by pressing one of the arrow keys. And what I'm going to do now is just click around some of these formulas here. And what I want you to do is keep an eye on the formula bar as I click some of these formulas. What you will see is as I click around, on the left side of the formula, there will always be a number 1. And on the right side, there will always be a letter A. So in this example, we've got uh, J$1 times $A9. Uh, on the next one, we've got I1A5. The next one, we've got G1A8, E1A3. And the reason that happens is simply because we have told Excel wherever we want, wherever, wherever we copy our original calculation, which is in cell B2, we want row 1 locked and we want column A locked. And that's why the formula is as it is. Um, so there's the nice 10 times multiplication table. And I'm going to just finish that off by doing a bit of formatting. What I want to do is expand the, the row height and to do that I'm going to select all the rows from row 2 down to 11. So click on the number 2 in the grey uh, column numbers there. So click on the 2, drag down to the 11, go to the format menu, choose row, height, and if I just drag that little dialog in there, I'm going to put the number 25 in there and click OK, and that just increases the row height, something that's more interesting. Um, oh, I did forget to uh, also do row 1 there, my mistake. I'll click on row 1 as well, do that one more time. Format, row, height, type in 25, click OK, and there we are. Now the next stage is just to tidy up the display of the numbers. I'm going to guess select all the uh, cells there from K11 back up to A1, go to Format Cells, go to the Alignment tab if you don't already have it selected, and in these horizontal and vertical drop downs we want to choose Center on Horizontal and Center on Vertical, click OK. And as we go back to the spreadsheet you will see we now have it, um, all the numbers nicely centered. I'm going to increase the size of those numbers as well. So I'm going to go to my font size drop down and choose 18. Increase the number size there. Um, I could probably make them bold as well, make them stand out even more. And then the last thing, I'm going to add some color to the table. Well, not quite the last thing, but we'll add some color first of all. So I'm going to select the uh, row one from K one to A1, hold down the control key and then select A2 down to A11 and I'm going to put some colour on that so click on the drop down for the fill colours and I'm going to put a yellow colour on that. I'm also going to put a grid across the spreadsheet or across the, uh, the cells with a value in by highlighting again all the table or the multiplication table. Um, click the drop down for the borders and choose the all borders option, the grid button there. Click on that and it puts the grid on. And one final thing perhaps is to just highlight the middle value there or the, the middle diagonal um, which sometimes you see on multiplication tables and to do that I'm going to click number one in cell B2, hold down the control key and I'm going to go down diagonally like so right the way down to 10 times 10 and then click on the fill options again choose sort of a blue color there I'll let you choose your own if you want click away anywhere and there we have the finished table now as a final little trick what you can do if you want to, um, to have lots of different multiplication tables maybe use different values very uh, I'm going to actually um, I'll do a couple of things here if I double click on the sheet tab there, I'm going to put 1 to 10 X, press enter, and I'm going to copy the whole sheet, and to do that, if you click on the grey button, which is to the left of the letter A and above the number 1, just click on that, highlights the entire sheet, copy that, I'm going to now go to sheet number 2, and I'm going to paste that original 
spreadsheet into sheet 2. We get a duplicate. Now what I can do here is click into cell B1, type the number 11, put the mouse pointer on the bottom right, hold down the control key, drag across again, and this time you will see we get numbers 11 to 20. I'm going to copy that, right click in cell A2, choose paste special, click transpose, or transpose option, click OK, press the escape key to deselect, click into A1 just to deselect the whole lot. And there we are, we have multiplication table from 11 to 20, and come down to the sheet tab, double click, put in there 11 to 20 times, and so on and so on. And there we are, so if you ever want to know what 18 times 18 is, there we are, 324. Very good. I hope you find that useful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.